I wasn't seeking a mission. I have one. I teach Sunday school. It takes up a lot of time. It's very fulfilling spiritually. Up until a certain point, I thought it was the maximum capacity of my ability to administer and serve. I wasn't seeking an assignment or accepting any. Our understanding and expectations are often not God's, and one Sunday in 2005, he made that point to me. The previous Christmas, a large tsunami had devastated the Indian Ocean region, and a group here at CPC was preparing to go to India to minister along the coastal regions. They approached me and asked me if I would come with. My answer was a swift and firm no. It's not my ministry, I teach. It's not my call. I don't know anything about that place. It's not my budget, not my vacation plans. India, do they even have a resort there? The only excuse I didn't verbalize was the vacation one. It seemed a little unspiritual. Todd Kopstad, one of the elders who was going, stepped into the conversation and said, he'll go. Given a chance to reconsider this exciting opportunity, I took two seconds to reflect and said, oh no, I won't. Todd replied in his best positive persuasion tone, which is very positive and very persuasive. He'll go, I'll pick up his airfare. A couple of months later, I found myself on a flight to Bangalore with a backpack full of Slim Jims, hand sanitizer and Imodium, and an assignment to teach at a couple of pastors' conferences in India. I was a most reluctant and skeptical missionary. One of the first things I discovered was that God had not sent me to a place that I couldn't stand. He sent me to a place that appeared to me to be one of the most fascinating, compelling, interesting places on the face of the earth, a place I knew nothing about. I even liked the people. Pastor Chuck Smith emphasizes an important principle that I knew intellectually, but I didn't know practically. God's calling is his enablement. God used the teaching tools he had provided me with at home but in a different place with a different people. Then he provided me with some new ones, the ability to go into the homes of people from a different culture and talk and pray and fellowship with them. Was it worth getting involved? After seven years, three trips to India and continuing weekly involvement in the ministry, the answer is an unqualified yes. I love this mission. The first command of the Great Commission is to go, and there's a reason for that. Nothing happens until we obey the first command.